build my prevail against it. And I will give to thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatever you shall bind upon earth, it shall be bound also in heaven. Whatever you shall loose upon earth, it shall be loosed also in heaven. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. My dear friends, this certainly is a, an important feast for the church, the Catholic Church, and as I mentioned already, this is the chair of Peter at Antioch. And on January 18th, we serve, we celebrated the chair of Peter at Rome. Originally, of course, the chair of Peter was in Jerusalem, but because Jerusalem was going to be destroyed in 70 AD, it was then, of course, necessary to move the chair to Antioch for seven years. Then it was moved to Alexandria for just a time. Peter never really took office there. He never sat on the chair, as it were, in, in not in Alexandria, but the chair was there for a while. And after Peter, after that, Peter went to Rome. And there we have, for these, thousand, these years, we have the glorious reign of the Catholic Church. The gates of hell shall not prevail against it. What a promise. What a promise. And what a promise it is. Whatever you shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you shall loose on earth, that means don't promote, shall not be promoted in heaven. How many churches can say these things? All the other churches are false. Many of them made by men. They don't have a leg to stand on. They certainly not are built on rock. So it's so important for us to realize how, how the Catholic Church is the one true church outside of which there is no salvation. If you Google that, outside the Catholic Church, there is no salvation. You will get about 10 or 15 pages of all kinds of, of listings and, and teachings on why the Catholic Church is the, Catholic, is the true church. St. Thomas Aquinas, one of them is, St. Thomas Aquinas says that the Catholic Church is the ark. Just like in the days of Noah, only those who were in the ark are saved, so now only those in the ark of the Catholic Church will be saved. Now, my dear friends, this is very, very important. We can't take a chance with our, rel our loved ones who are in other churches, that they're going to be saved. Outside the church, there is no salvation. Where are they going to get rid of their mortal sins? Except in confession, which alone the Catholic has valid ordination for. Where are they going to get fed by the body and blood of Christ, which we have in the Holy Eucharist, with other, which other churches do not have? They may have something similar, but they do not have the valid ordination. You have to trace your ordination back to the time of the apostles. It's one holy Catholic and apostolic church. Those are the four marks of the Catholic church. One, one church, Roman Catholic church. Holy, a means of holiness and founded by Jesus Christ who is holy. Right? One holy Catholic, Catholic universal all over the world for all men. And apostolic trace their lineage back to the time of the apostles. So you have to evangelize and tell people this. You can't take a chance, tell them. You can't take a chance, you're gonna be saved. You've got to get into the ark of the Catholic Church. And I said, as I said, as I said if you do the Google search and outside the church there is no salvation, you will see many, many teachings by various popes, by saints, by councils that tell us this. So, my dear friends, what about people who are not in the Catholic Church? If through their own fault, through invincible ignorance, it's not their fault, they were up in the Andes someplace and they never heard of the Catholic Church, somehow God will work something out. We don't know but we can't take a church chance. 
especially when we see the teachings of the church and we see all the other things about the Catholic Church. And we realize one of the, one of the major points, I think, of course, is the whole idea of the teaching. So many of these, teachings, these other churches do not have proper teaching. They allow divorce, homosexual unions, they allow contraception, right? No wonder the psalmist, how about this? The psalmist, David says, all pagan religions are from the devil. What? Yes, all pagan religions are from the devil. Why? Because the devil will use religion and teach error and get people fooled. And they find out they're in the wrong church and allowed to do this and allowed to do that and allowed to do this and allowed to do that. When you're not allowed, only the Catholic Church, holy, teaching what Jesus Christ. That's why in the Catholic Church we have things called heretics, people who don't believe in what the Church teaches. They're outside the Church, they're heretics. They will lose their soul. That's why you pray the Rosary. Our Lady said, if you pray the Rosary, you will never fall into heresy. How about that one? So that's why we keep on telling you to pray the Rosary. I want to read to you what Don Prosper Gonanger says about the Catholic Church. It says it all, and I think it's so important, about what various people say about the Church. Our Savior said to Peter, To thee will I give the keys of the kingdom of heaven, that is to say, of the Church. He said to him on another occasion, Feed my lambs, feed my sheep, so that Peter is prince, for in the language of sacred scripture, keys denote princely power. He is also pastor and universal pastor, for the whole flock is, in, is, is comprised under the two terms, lambs and sheep. And yet there are other pastors in other portions of the Christian world. The bishops, whom the Holy Ghost hath placed to rule the church of God's govern is in his name, their respective dioceses are also pastors. How comes it that the keys which were given to Peter are found in other hands than his? The Catholic Church explains the difficulty to us by her tradition. She says to us by Tertullian, Christ gave the keys to Peter and threw him to the church by Saint Optatus of Milavis. For the sake of unity, Peter was made the first among all the apostles, and he alone received the keys that he might give them to the rest. By St. Gregory of Nyssa, it is through St. Pe Peter that Christ gave to bishops the keys of their heavenly prerogative. By St. Leo the Great, if our Lord willed that there should be something common to Peter and the rest of the princes of his church, it was only on this condition that whatsoever he gave to the rest, he gave to them through Peter. Yes, the episcopate is most sacred. The episcopate means the bishopric. The episcopate is most sacred, for it comes from the hands of Jesus Christ through Peter and his successes. Right? Such is the unanimous teaching of the Catholic tradition which is, in, which is in keeping with the language used by the Roman pontiffs from the earliest ages, who have always spoken of the dignity of bishops as consisting in their being called to, to a share of their, own, of their own solicitude. Hence, St. Cyprian does not hesitate to say that our Savior, wishing to establish the Episcopal dignity and, and constitute his church, says to Peter, to thee will I give the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And here we have both the institution of bishops and the constitution of the church. The same doctrine is clearly stated in a letter written to Pope St. Symmachus by St. Caesarius of Oz, who lived in the fifth century. The episcopate flows from the blessed, of Peter, blessed apostle Peter, and consequently it belongs to your holiness to your holiness to prescribe to the several churches the rules which they are to follow. This fundamental principle which St. Leo the Great has so ably and eloquently developed as we have seen on the Feast of the Chair of Peter, this principle which is taught us by universal tradition is laid down 
with all possible precision in the magnificent letters still extant of Pope St. Innocent I, who preceded St. Leo by several years. Thus he writes to the Council of Carthage that the episcopate, with all its authority, emanates from the apostolic see to the Council of Malevis, that bishops must look upon Peter as the source whence both their name and their dignity are derived, to St. Victrixius, Bishop of Rouen, that the apostolate and the episcopate both owe their origin to Peter. Ironically, I had read one time ago that there was a church in Indiana called the Church of the Twelve Apostles. Nice title. Got to be true, right? Sure, why not? Twelve apostles. Wrong. They were twelve farmers in Indiana, one of the states in America. They banded together, started their own church. So it began the twelve apostles, which would be twelve farmers. Now, you could be in that church, but I don't think you're going to save your soul, right? And of course, as I said already, the devil has a way of infiltrating the church and causing so much confusion. So we're never wrong following St. Peter. So, so important and to the teachings of the church. Sadly, today, we now have so much difficulty, so many heresies and heretics in the Catholic Church itself, believe it or not, teaching wrong doctrine, all right? Take a look at some of the things that they go on and you say, never heard that before. Well, it's a new teaching, all right? You follow that teaching and you find yourself in the wrong place. So with that in mind, pray your rosary all the time and you'll never fall into heresy. You'll just see heresy and wrong teaching and you won't follow it. So that's why Our Lady came to Fatima to tell us to pray the rosary. She said these times would be difficult and many souls would go to hell because no one prays and sacrifices for them. So we need to pray and sacrifice for our family members, for our relatives, our friends who are no longer, who are not in the church, that they become Catholics. This is important. All right? So, as I've already said today, so pray and sacrifice. And we make to make sure we can't take any chances. Make sure you're in the right church, in the right ark that's going to get you to heaven. All right? So, May the Lord bless you on this beautiful feast of St. Peter and all the apostles and all the bishops who follow them. May the Lord bless you.